ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಖಿಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಎಲ್ಲ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷಾ ವಿಷಯಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಮೂಲಕ ತರಗತಿಯನ್ನು ನಡೆಸಲಿದ್ದು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಎಲ್ಲ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಆಧಾರದ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ಈ ತರಗತಿಯನ್ನು ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಡಲು ಹಾಗೂ ಉದ್ಘಾಟನೆ ಮಾಡಲು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ದಿನೇಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇವರನ್ನು ವೇದಿಕೆಗೆ ಆಹ್ವಾನಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಶ್ರೀಯುತರ ಪರಿಚಯ ಇವರು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದಿಂದ ಎಂ ಎ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನು ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆದಿದ್ದು ನಂತರ ದ್ರಾವಿಡಿಯ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದಿಂದ ಎಂ ಫಿಲ್ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನು ಪೂರೈಸಿ ಕುವೆಂಪು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದಿಂದ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಂಬ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆದಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಇವರು ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಶೇಷಾದ್ರಿಪುರಂ ಸಂಜೆ ಪದವಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಹಾಗೂ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಪದವಿ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಬೋಧನಾನುಭವವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದ್ದು ಪ್ರಸಕ್ತ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಪದವಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಟಿ ಬೇಗೂರ್ ನೆಲಮಂಗಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಾಗಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುತ್ತಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಉದ್ಘಾಟನೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕೆಂದು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ದಿನೇಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇವರನ್ನು ಕೋರಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇನೆ ಉದ್ಘಾಟನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ ದಿನೇಶ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈ ತರಗತಿಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಎರಡು ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯೂಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕೆಂದು ಹಾಗೂ ತರಗತಿಯನ್ನು ಆರಂಭಿಸಬೇಕೆಂದು ವಿನಂತಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಎಲ್ಲ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ತರಗತಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತಾ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ವಾರ್ಷಿಕ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಕಳೆದ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾಗಿ ಕೊನೆಯ ಹಂತವನ್ನು ತಲುಪಿದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಕೇವಲ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷಾ ವಿಷಯದ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗಳು ಮುಕ್ತಾಯಗೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕು ಅಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಚೀನಾ ದೇಶದ ವುಹಾನ್ ಎಂಬ ನಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾದಂಥ ನೋವಲ್ ಕೊರೋನಾ ವೈರಸ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ನೈಂಟೀನ್ ಚೀನಾದಿಂದ ಜನ್ಮ ತಾಳಿ ಕ್ರಮೇಣವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದ ಎಲ್ಲ ದೇಶಗಳನ್ನು ಹೋಗಿ ಭಾರತವೂ ಕೂಡ ಬಂದು ಭಾರತದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗೆ ತಂದಿಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವಿಷಯ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸಂದಿಗ್ಧ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳು ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಶೈಕ್ಷಣಿಕ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಸ್ತಬ್ಧವಾಗಿದೆ ಇಡೀ ದೇಶದ ಜನರು ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಆತಂಕದಲ್ಲಿ ದಿನವನ್ನು ಕಂಡುಕೊಂಡಂತದ್ದಾಗಿದೆ ಇನ್ನು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಸಮೂಹಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದರೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಅವರ ಮುಂದಿನ ವ್ಯಾಸಂಗದಿರಬಹುದು ಮುಂದಿನ ಜೀವನ ನಿರ್ವಹಣೆ ಇರಬಹುದು ಈ ವಿಷಯಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಾಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಆತಂಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಮೇಣವಾಗಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರಗಳು ತಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕ್ರಮೇಣವಾಗಿ ಸಡಿಲಗೊಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ 
ನೀನು ಶೈಕ್ಷಣಿಕ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷಾ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಇದೇ ಜೂನ್ ಹದಿನೆಂಟಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಗದಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಇದೇ ಜೂನ್ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದರಿಂದ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡುವ ಹಾಗೆ ನಿಗದಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬಹುದಾದಂತಹ ಆತಂಕಗಳನ್ನು ನಿವಾರಣೆ ಮಾಡತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಇರಬಹುದು ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಇರಬಹುದು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಶ್ರೇಯೋಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗಾಗಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಹಿತಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಹೋರಾಟವನ್ನು ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಏಕಮಾತ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಸಂಘಟನೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಖಿಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ತಪ್ಪಾಗಲಾರದು ಈ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಸಂಘಟನೆ ಈ ಹಿಂದೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ನಡೆಸತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಹೋರಾಟಗಳು ಒಂದೇ ತಾವು ಅದು ಇಡೀ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಮತ್ತು ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ತದೆ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂದಿಗ್ಧ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಸಂಘಟನೆ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ಥೈರ್ಯವನ್ನು ತುಂಬಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ನಾವು ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗೆ ನಾವು ಬೆನ್ನೆಲುಬಾಗಿ ನಿಲ್ತೇವೆ ನೀವು ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನ ದೃಢಚಿತ್ತದಿಂದ ಎದುರಿಸಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂತಹ ಸೌಲಭ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಒದಗಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಇಡೀ ರಾಜ್ಯಾದ್ಯಂತ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಆರೈಕೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದು ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷಾ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನು ಈ ಜೂನ್ ಹದಿನೆಂಟಕ್ಕೆ ನಡೆಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ನಿಗದಿ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವಿಷಯ ಈ ವಿಷಯಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಪ್ರವಚನಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಂತು ಎರಡು ತಿಂಗಳುಗಳಾಗಿದೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಆತಂಕ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಿರ್ಬಂಧಗಳು ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಯಾರೂ ಕೂಡ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಆರೋಪಣೆಗೆ ಬರುವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಹೋಗುವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ಸ್ ನ ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡುವ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಆ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನ ಎದುರಿಸಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಸಂಘಟನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ಬಂದು ನನ್ನನ್ನು ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕವಾಗಿ ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ಈ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ತರಗತಿಯನ್ನ ಆಯೋಜನೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಈ ತರಗತಿಯನ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಜಾಲತಾಣಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಮನೆ ಮನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ತಲುಪಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಆಯೋಜನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಒಂದು ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸೇವೆ ನಮಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ನೀವು ತರಗತಿಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ವೇಳೆಯನ್ನು ನಮಗೆ ಕೊಡೋದಾದರೆ ನಾವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ತರಗತಿಗಳನ್ನು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಮನೆ ಮನಗಳಿಗೆ ಮುಗಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಈ ಸಂಘಟನೆಯ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಬಂದು ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತೆಯೇ ನಾವಾದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಯನ್ನು ಹೊತ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವರು ಈ ವಿಷಯವನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಮನಸ್ಸು ತುಂಬಿ ಬಂದು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಆತ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನ ಮಾಡಿ ಯಾವ ವಿಷಯವನ್ನಾದರೂ ತಂದುಕೊಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲವಾಗುವಂತೆ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋಣ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅದರಂತೆಯೇ ಅಖಿಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಪರಿಷತ್ತವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗೆ ಬಂದು ತರಗತಿಗಳನ್ನು ನಿಗದಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ತರಗತಿಗಳು ಈ ಮೂವತ್ತನೇ ದಿನಾಂಕದಿಂದ ಹದಿನೇಳು ಜೂನ್ವರೆಗೂ ಪ್ರತಿ ದಿವಸ ಸಂಜೆ ಆರರಿಂದ ಏಳರ ನಡುವೆ ಅಖಿಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಅವರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಲೈವ್ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಸಕ್ತ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಮಯವನ್ನು ಬಿಡುವು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆ ತರಗತಿಗಳನ್ನು ಕೇಳುವ ಮೂಲಕ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆತಂಕಗಳನ್ನು ದೂರ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ನನ್ನ ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕವಾಗಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸಂಘಟನ
ಸಜ್ಜುಗೊಳಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ದಟ್ ರೋಮಿಯೋ ಆಂಡ್ ಜೂಲಿಯಟ್ Dear students, Romeo and Juliet, it is one of the greatest to play by William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, the 16th century English a poet, a dramatist and is a, a renowned a poet in which the world has a person. He has composed 100 plus sonnets. 36 plays which have been categorized tragedies comedies tragic comedies romeo and juliet is one of the tragic plays of shakespeare what is a tragedy as you all know that you might have heard at the end of the play or the story the main character of the play whether a hero or heroine maybe both they die at the end of the play or story that ends in tragedy such place are called as tragedies here romeo and juliet comes under a tragic play and only two excerpts have been prescribed to our studies for our second year students that is from act 1 on scene 5 and act 3 on scene 2 only these two excerpts have been prescribed here even though you may not study the entire play the main characters of the play Romeo and Juliet how does they express their feelings to each other in come to before we study the characters of Romeo and Juliet we should have a background to the play Romeo and Juliet belongs to the two different families and those families were staunch enemies Romeo belongs to the Montagues family and Juliet belongs to the Capulets family Montagues and Capulets were the staunch enemies. Romeo and Juliet belongs to these two different families. Romeo had an affair with a lady called Rosalind. Once what happened, the old Lord Capulet had organized a dinner party in their house. Romeo wanted to meet Rosalind, his beloved. He thought that she would come over there to attend the banquet party of Capulet family. So, in disguise romeo also planned to attend the supper party along with the help of his friends in disguise he attends 
the party art cabinet's family. Unfortunately, Romeo could not see Rosalind there because she did not come to the party. On the dance floor in the market hall, he could see a group of ladies dancing over there. They amid the troop of ladies on the dancing floor. Romeo standing in one of the corner, he saw a lady in which he was really impressed with the ever charming beauty of the lady. He was not knowing that she is a Juliet and she belongs to the enemy family that is Cabinet. But by the time he saw Juliet on the dance floor, he was admired with the charming beauty of Juliet. By standing at one of the corners, he kept watching Juliet at dance. And he himself started to describe the charming beauty of Juliet. So here in this excerpt in Act 1, Scene 5, how does Romeo expresses the true beauty, everlasting charming beauty of Juliet. Here we have, as it says, Oh, she does speech the touches to her right. Is an It says, means does. This 16th century English, in which we call as Anglo Saxon literature, old English, in which Shakespeare used to write. He says that, oh, she, she refers to the lady there, what she was impressed with. It was none other than Juliet. Oh, she does teach the torches to work bright. How does a torch work? A torch works with the help of an air connection or with the electricity charger or not. It needs some supplement, no supplement, the thoughts. Romeo says that Juliet's beauty can teach the torches to burn more bright. Which means her beauty can teach us the task means she had more radiance. Her beauty had got more and more radiance, which can you know give it to others. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of none. Further, he says, when you consider a knight as a person, when you consider a knight as a person, he says that Juliet beauty seems to be hangs upon the cheeks of night. It attracts, immediately it catches the notice of people. The beauty hangs upon the cheek of night and it looks like a rich jewel in an idiot's ear. Means, joke means an African. Idiot means an African. He says, she looks like a rich jewel in an idiot's ear. What is the significance of Ethiopian here? It means an African. The racial color of African is completely black because of the temperature of the particular continent or whatever. So what happens when an African wears a rich jewel? How does it look totally contrasting? Only we can notice that jewelry, it attracts. Likewise, Juliet standing on the dance floor, she is attracted to others rather than the other fellow beings. Beauty
to be too rich for use for earth to dear he says on this earth only juliet possess the abundant beauty no other only juliet possess the abundant beauty on this earth so shows as no great thou trooping with crows again he compares juliet with other fellow beings on the floor he says that how does a snowy dove looks when it stands amidst the troop of crows let me say for example consider 100 crows amidst 100 crows they only one dove a snowy dove how does it look so white in color so when you look at the group there what attracts your notice with a hundred crows or that one snowy dove one snowy dove attracts your notice rather than hundred crows likewise juliet attracts the notice of other she looks like a snowy dove amidst the group of crows the group of crows compares to her fellow beings and juliet is compared to a snowy dove further Romeo says, "As yonder lady over there, as yonder lady over her fellow shows, the measure done, measure."
he says Juliet there was impressed with her charming beauty and he describes the charming beauty of Juliet. This is how Romeo describes the charming beauty of Juliet. Dear student, you can refer to the previous question paper. You can see this question is 100%. Especially the second main of your question paper for four marks, you, could, you can say that describe the charming beauty of Juliet in the words of Romeo, who almost compulsory question. Compulsory question. So concentrate on how does Romeo explain or describe the true beauty of Juliet. In Act 3, Scene 2, after some time, after some no interventions, by the time both Romeo and Juliet have come to know each other, they had fallen in love with each other, they had an affection with each other. So in between there is a gap. In the Act 3, Scene 2, one point day, Juliet comes to the balcony of her house. It was about evening time. And remembering or recalling the feelings of Romeo, she says herself, How come night, come Romeo? Come thou day in night. She says, Come night. She is expecting the night to come and she is urging for it. Come night. Come pause. She wants to be in the com com you know, company of night. Come Romeo. She says, Whenever the night comes, she wants to see Romeo along the night. Come thou day in night. Thou again you. Thou means you. You she is addressing to Romeo. Come you day in night. She wants to see night even in day. Means she doesn't want to stay in day, she wants to stay all the time in night only. Why? Because she wants to see Romeo all the time in the night. For thou will lie upon the wings of night. Again, thou refers to you. You, Juliet refers to Romeo. You will lie upon the wings of night. Whenever night comes, Romeo must be there and Romeo must be lying upon the wings of night. When there is a night, then must be Romeo, she wants to see. As she says that, night, <coughs> it is the time where, all, where, where there is no disturbances. We are detached from all our activities. It is a time of calmness, a darkness. One can meditate, one can feel, one can imagine. So she wants to see night on Romeo. Whiter than new snow on the other's back. How does Romeo look like to Juliet? He looks like uh, whiter than new snow. What the color of snow it is white always. Whiter than new snow, which crest of the earth, clear white, on Raven's back. Raven means is a black bird, a type of a crow, <coughs> a black bird. What happens when a white snow falls on a raven, a black bird? 
lights. The snow, white snow attracts rather than the bird. Something white falls on black. What catches our bird is only that white color, not the black color. So, likewise, on a ravel's back, when white snow falls, Romeo seems to be seems to be a white snow. Come, gentle night, come, loving black brown night. She says, Come, gentle night. Loving and gentle. He'll say that cool, calm, a melody, gentle. Right? Come, gentle night, come, loving black brown night. She is describing the, that particular environment. How does the night look? It is so gentle, it is so calm, it is so peaceful. You come, I want to see you all the time. Come, give me my own view. Whenever you come, give me my own view. I want to see you. And when I shall die, sooner or later, I am going to die. Juliet says, one fine day, I am going to die. Taking and cutting out the little stars. Even after my death, I expect Romeo to be glorified by the people. For that, what she expects that in the night, Romeo to be putting the sky in the form of stars. In the form of stars. Taking him and cutting out in little stars. He should be made as a star in the sky. And he will make the face of heaven so fine. When Romeo becomes a star in the sky, then only the heaven looks so beautiful. Unless and until Heaven does not look good. When Romeo becomes a star in the sky, the entire heaven will become fine. It looks fine, she says. What does it mean? What does it mean? Juliet wants to immortalize the name of Romeo. Even after his death, after her death, she says, How does no one can immortalize? Coming a star. Nature is permanent. We can recall forever. People are not permanent. If a person becomes a moon, a sun, a star, or whatever it is, can the world or the people forget them? No, they cannot. Her love towards Romeo reached to such an extent that she wants to glorify the name of Romeo and she wants to immortalize his name. How? By becoming a star. Romeo must become as a star in the sky. She says further that all the world will be in love with night. When Romeo becomes a star in the sky, the people everywhere wishes to look at the sky. But for? To see Romeo. To see Romeo. By that time, not only me, the entire world, all the people, can see Romeo in the sky. She expects like that. And pay no worship to the garish sun. And pay no worship to the garish sun. A sun. One sun is most important there. Without him, the world cannot perform. The world cannot do anything. Because sun gives us light. Sun gives us light. She says that when Romeo becomes a star in the sky, people will start looking after that star, Romeo, and they forget sun. Is it possible? It will never possible. It will never possible. One moon, one sun should be there, without which we cannot lead our life. But her true beauty towards Romeo made her to say that just she wants to glorify and immortalize the name of her beloved, her companion, that is Romeo. 
she just says that if Romeo becomes a star in the sky, the entire world is taught to look after that you know, little star, Romeo in the sky, especially in the night, and they forget about that brighter, the garish sun in the night. In such a way, Juliet expresses her true beauty towards Romeo by expressing her true feelings. The students, here also the question goes like this. According to Juliet, how can Romeo may be immortalized? Or how can the people forget the Danish sun? So it goes like this. Here, Romeo expresses or describes the charming everlasting beauty of Juliet and Juliet expresses her true love towards Romeo and both Romeo and Juliet's true love remain as a legend to the world even for today even though they could not retain their love for a longer time both Romeo and the Juliet died at the end of the play even Till today, till today, whenever we talk about the concept of love, we recall Romeo and Juliet. We recall Romeo and Juliet. Their love was a really a true love, a legendary love story sketched by William Shakespeare in his play Romeo and Juliet. The students, that's the end of the poem. Due to time constraints, we have not been able to brief you the whole play of Romeo and Juliet, which is not required at the time. The two excerpts, Romeo and Juliet's feelings towards each other, it has been prescribed, it is done. That's the end of uh, Romeo and Juliet, the excerpt of the play. Now, let us focus on some of the questions, expected questions from that poem. One more question. What does Juliet teach the torches? The question. What does Juliet teach the torches? Answer. To burn bright. Juliet teaches the torches to burn bright. Second question, where does she hang upon? According to Romeo, where does she hang upon? Answer, she hangs upon the cheek of night. She hangs upon the cheek of night. How does she hang upon the cheek of night? How does she hang upon the cheek of night as a rich jewel in an Ethiopian ear, in an African ear? She hangs upon the cheek of night as a rich jewel in an African ear. Next question. What quality of Juliet is too rich to use? Repeat. What quality of Juliet is too rich to use? Her abundant beauty. Her abundant beauty of Juliet is too rich to use on earth. Next question. What is too dear? Which means expensive for earth in Juliet. Again, Juliet's beauty. See, for the same answer, questions may be framed differently. So, the same with that, the answer is same to this two question. How does she look among crows? How does Juliet look among crows? As no big Answer. Juliet looks like a snowy dove amidst the troop of crows. 
When does Romeo wish to go and touch Juliet? Answer After the dance After the dance Next question Why does Romeo wish to touch Juliet? Why does Romeo wish to touch Juliet? Answer to bless his rude hand. To bless his rude hand. Next question. Whom does Juliet invite? Whom does Juliet invite? Juliet invite night. In the beginning of her words she says, Come night. She invites night. Next question. Where according to Juliet will Romeo lie? Where according to Juliet will Romeo lie? Answer. Upon the wings of night. Romeo lies upon the wings of night. Next question. What is gentle to Juliet? What is gentle to Juliet? Answer night. For Juliet, night looks like or seems to be gentle. Next question. What should be done to Romeo if he dies? What should be done to Romeo if he dies? According to Juliet, he must take out and cut in little stalks. Romeo must be take out and cut in little stalks. Next question. When according to Juliet would all the world be in love with the night? I repeat the question. When according to Juliet would all the world be in love with the night? Answer. When Romeo becomes a star in the sky. When Romeo becomes a star in the sky. Next question. Who does Romeo address as yonder lady? Romeo address Juliet as yonder lady over there on the dancing floor. Next and last question. Who according to Juliet is whiter than blue snow? Who according to Juliet is whiter than blue snow? Answer. It is Romeo. Romeo looks like whiter than the news know as Juliet says. Dear students, these are all the expected one more question from Romeo and Juliet. One more questions may be framed or coined. Anyway, for that, you must read, you must study the poem. A word by word. You must understand the literal meaning of every word, every expression. Because one more question may be coined accordingly. That's all about one more expected question from Romeo and Juliet. Meanwhile, you can also expect four more questions compulsory. In second way, you can remember, they will give you 12 questions out of which you are expected to answer 8 questions. 4 questions are options. Among these 12 questions, 4 marks questions, 1 question, 1 or 2 questions from Romeo and Juliet is a must. Is a must. How does a question looks like in four marks? Say, 
How is Romeo mesmerized by the beauty of Juliet? How is Romeo mesmerized by the beauty of Juliet? As Romeo describes, this question may be coined in with. Describe the charming beauty of Juliet according to Romeo. See, how does Romeo mesmerize by the true beauty of Juliet? Question is different, but the answer is what? According to the words of Romeo, how does he describe Juliet? She can reach the torches to burn bright. She seems to be hang upon the cheeks of night. She looks like an Ethiopian in an Ethiopian year. She seems to be as though we don't miss the group of pros. These expressions, these expressions, you must find. Next, why does Romeo say he never saw true beauty till that night? Again, Romeo's description of Juliet's everlasting beauty he was discussed there. And next question, how does Juliet invite night and Romeo? There, you have to write how does Juliet invite the night and Romeo. How does she feel in the night? How does why does she expect Romeo in the night? The three things you have to discuss. And these two questions are compulsory for four mark. So you may be asked anyway, either from Romeo's end or from Juliet's end. For that you have to get ready for both the point of view. How does Romeo discuss Juliet and how does Juliet invite Knight to see Romeo? And how does she make Romeo's name immortalized and he becomes his star in the sky? That's all about the expected questions from Romeo and Juliet. I hope you are all benefit in the class. Again, I will get back to you with uh, another uh, lesson. Next lesson. Thank you.